Hey, welcome to my two. My name's Marge. I'm a Hokey Empath, and I just like having these little talks and the way I feel about things. And man, when we're about to hit in the the Aries sun, about the the, the sun's about to move into Aries, moons in Aries, all this Aries energy, and things are gonna get good now, y'all. Yeah. I tell you what. See. I don't know about where you live. I live in Oregon. What they did yesterday was kind of funny. It was like, free park day, free state park dates. You know, admits is free. Come on out, bring out your family, you know. So they freaking overran. You know, you can't go. <laughs> it's like, don't go and do large crowds, but then create an occasion for large crowds. And then they realize, oh, crud, we can't do this. So now they closed all their parks. So they're taking people's outlets away. They're taking people's abilities to soothe, self-soothe. So, so all you folks that... uh that are telling, go ground, go put your feet in the dirt. Well, you might as well, you know, hope you have some at your house or your apartment complex or something like that. Because here in Oregon, that's about all you get. That was the worst choice they could have done, man. That was, see, that's the thing, is you strip people's outlets away. Their, 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 their means of, of getting rid of their energy, negative energy, you know, things to make them feel better. Because you took away, they're done, took away... They're, they're booze, and, you you know, now they can't go to bars and stuff like that. So all this stuff, I mean, you can still eat your feelings because you can get curbside and to-go meals all over the place. So that's, there's no deficit there. I saw in California they're waving, you can buy um, a, an alcoholic beverage with your meals and have it delivered. They're waving rules. That's what, see, I hope people start getting the bigger picture of all this. It's... People that don't follow the rules have no business making them up. They just change them like this and that and this and that. And it's, there's, this is the stuff that's tumbling and collapsing because it's freaking nonsense. Now the way I see it, now I ain't right about everything all the time. I'm not right all the time. I am, I am pretty accurate. And I hope I'm not right in this case, because the way I see it, knowing my side, knowing knowing how people are, and based on my own experience of how things have gone down the last three years, when I couldn't get a job, and I was like, and I, you know, don't have any money, so I'm just homebound all the time. I can't leave mom very long, more than two, three hours at a time anyway. So you know, and then so I'm trying to save money because I hate living in this town. So. I leave less, so I do less and spend less, and so I've been freaking sequestered for freaking going on four years now since I've lived here, July 2016, moved here, and my world did a 180. It flipped completely over, to, and you know, as so many other people's have in the last three to five years, and that's what the ascension thing is, you know. All these people that their lives have completely done a 180. They've been made to come within, withdraw within, go and get to really know themselves. You know, go on this path of self discovery, and and then now is the time that we're emerging, so we can help teach other people how to do it. Cause it ain't all freaking love and light, man, and it's fun, and it's and it's not always fun, you know, and. One of the most poignant things that people can do right now is, and I've been saying this for years, is just freaking try and meditate, man. Just self-soothe. Because people don't, now they're taking all their 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 um, means of, of, of coping away. You know, can't go to the park, can't drink, can't hang out with your friends, got to stay home, can't go to work. You know, so all these people that freaking, you know, like, yeah, you can love your family, but I know a lot, a lot of people that their freaking family annoys the heck out of them. So now all these people just have to are just stuck with them. And what, you, what do you think is going to happen? And it's spring, so everybody's internal frequency is speeding up. Cause we're Aries season. It's it's ready to go. It's time to go. It's been a long cold winter. It's time to go. It's to go out and meet people and do some things and 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 make some things better. Not sit still and do nothing. You know, that's not what the human spirit is about. So, I, I'm going to see freaking domestic violence cases. We're going to see, you know, more shootings. We're going to see, because dip, dimwits, freaking when they get idle and bored, they don't have enough intelligence to read a book or do a science project or do something like that. They Their energy is more inclined to be of the negative variety, and they're going to dip low. 
you know, for selfish reasons. I never understood people that freaking like to hurt animals and, and do... I don't even like pranks. I don't even think pranks are funny. So all these challenges where I see where I scroll through face butt and I see freaking like people jumping up at you know and then they 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 sweep out the friends of their their the feet of their friends all that stuff man all that is it's not funny if you have to hurt people to make people laugh and all I just I don't like people that look at that stuff I don't I just it's low vibrational behavior man it's 2020. We're about to be in the age of Aquarius, stepping into a time where you want to help lift people up. I'm done with freaking people berating people and putting people down and 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 not offering offering opportunity for other people to succeed just because people are scared that they're going to succeed more than them. You know, so all this 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 shady freaking egotistical opportunistic Earth is freaking quickly going away, and I'm stoked about that. I know I for one am. I think it's funny. Come on, let's get in here. Go, go, go. Ugh, it's funny to me that that uh, you know, it's like people are are having an opportunity right now to get their priorities straight. You grew up poor. I grew up poor. This is no different than the second half of every month I ever lived until I was 18 years old. <laughs> and then for a little while longer after that, you know, until I went in the Air Force, you know, until I did things and started making things better for myself. Because I knew that nobody else was going to help me, and they never have. I knew it. I knew it a long time ago. <laughs> That's all right. If you, don't, if you have people, don't have people in your life to help you, find your people that are like you. Go. So if you like... You know, whatever you like to... Well, you can't now. Never mind. You can't even offer advice on <laughs> on how... You know, get online and there's going to be more groups and everybody's doing Zoom meetings all over the place. But people are really having an opportunity to determine what is important. Wants and needs. Wants and needs. Luxuries and necessities. You know? Look at how much crap has been put in the landfill because people got to feel important because they're feel oh so small so they need an expensive car. Why? Because they deserve it. Why do they deserve it? Because they work hard. Why do they work hard? Because they tell themselves they do. <laughs> and I guarantee these people that drive these cars that have these opinions of themselves, they never worked harder than the IT person that's crawling around the floor connecting cables in your freaking filth. Yeah. You don't work you don't you don't work as hard as they do, you know? Uh anyway. It's not all. It's not all. Uh, uh, uh for you, for there's been this this storyline that's been proposed to us. Now it's just all being stripped away. You know, like the, the budgets that they spend on things. You know, you, there's so many homeless people everywhere. It costs about I don't know four million dollars. You could freaking build a comp an apartment complex one for Salem because there's like 500 of them. Build a significant you know apartment complex. Put them all in it. But they won't do that. But they'll spend 80 million dollars on a police station right across the street then see and then like where I used to work at Offutt Air Force Base the shop that I used to be a part of it's not in the same part of the building but for a year they've been without water no water plumbing they have honey buckets yeah the best Air Force military in the world they're using porto potties because they haven't had the plumbing fix but they went through and freaking painted everything bought all new furniture again because they went and bought a bunch of new furniture before the flood happened it was all white got all ruined so they went and just painted and you know because it's all for show right so people can't the the employees even with the greatest military air force in the world <laughs> Just get them, they'll tell you. <laughs> and then they'll spend a building on, uh, um, so it's like the, the maintainers can't get, like, their basic needs met. But then they'll spend $2.4 billion on another building for Stratcom. You know, and it's just like, um, it's not the people on the bottom, it's your trickle down mentality it's work it's broken trickle down 
boomers, boomers, trickle down. Let me tell you this, boomers, trickle down. It don't work if you don't release from the top, boomers. You know, so you have all these people in D.C. and, you know, in these state governments, you know, they're going to work every single day because they're essential. They're essential because they tell themselves they are. They go to work every day and they tell people, you can't do this and you can't do that. You have to go to do this. And the, the yeah, it's, you know, the reason is of reason. It's not a good enough reason to keep <laughs> at the level of the whole, you know, world is being... <laughs> freaking grounded but but it's still benefiting Gaia because she's getting to clean up because it's all part of the great cleansing it's just and this is all talked about in the astrology you know but but people won't take the time to educate themselves but they'll watch freaking hours and hours of basketball and football and just going looking back and forth and watching the same plays by the same players that make more and more money every year you know and they'll they'll feed their faces with that all day long but read about the battle of los angeles in 1939 or you know listen to some stuff about edgar casey or dolores cannon Oh my God, that might make you a well-rounded human being, but I don't know. However you use your time this time, use it wisely, don't use it wisely. You know, there's always lessons to learn, even in bad karma. Just whatever your path is, you know. I hope you find some others along the way to share, to share the journey with. And um, that's about all I got for now. I hope you have a rad day. Peace.